Mommy, wait, wait okay. for the apple. Sorry. Sorry, you're good. I'm just gonna keep cutting up. Well, Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Corinna Bench, and you're catching us on Christmas Eve morning, and we are starting to get some of our food stuff ready for the Christmas Eve dinner, or actually, yeah, dinner that we have with our family. And I wanted to share with you one of our um, traditions that we love, and we like to make a like a Christmas cranberry fruit relish for the table. And so where this comes from is actually me growing up as a kid down in Texas. Um, my dad would always make this for us, and we loved to help him because um, we got to use the meat grinder. So I don't know if you can see Jed over here. It's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so we hook up our meat grinder to the table, we have a big bowl down below that's catching the juices, and then a little um, pan right here, and then this is what we put inside of it. Um, my, my kids are already like halfway through, actually more than halfway. Are you okay to you cut yourself? Just a little bit. Okay. Honey so um, we have a can of pineapple with the juices. We have, I don't know if you can see this, but we had a bag of cranberries that were washed, and we just put them in whole into the grinder. And then we have two apples. Be really careful. That's not how we cut, right? We always use a flat edge. Cut like that. There we go. Um, we have two apples that we've cored with the skin on. And then two oranges. One that has the skin still on that we've quartered. And one without the skin. Um, that's really important because these little um, orange peels add some fun flavor. And that's all that we put in there. And we mix it all up. We grind it down like this. And then we're going to add... Um, either some orange juice and frankly we're going to add some sugar at the end to taste uh, until you like how it tastes. But this tastes exactly like that stuff that you um, you know, have at the table and someone buys it up from the store. And it's really, really fun to make it yourself. So if you have a meat grinder, um, this is really fun for kids to do. So our tradition on Christmas, in case you're interested as farmers, is we actually do a, a German tradition. My mother was from Germany. So we grew up my whole life on Christmas Eve doing kind of a German Christmas where we would make a huge platter full of uh, like meats and cheeses from the butcher. And then we would have really awesome crusty breads and pumpernickels and those dense breads that you get in, in Austria and in Germany. So we would have like blood and tongue sausage and labor, liver sausage and... Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't like those, do you? But um, I find those cheeses and those meats from around town, and I make this big platter. We have boiled eggs and pickles and herring and this kind of stuff. And that's what we have tonight after we go to church. Um, and then tomorrow, on Christmas Day, in the uh, late afternoon, we'll meet with the other side, the Bench family, and we will have, be careful, always use the flat side, right? We flatten it. It's kind of safe. Um, and we will have our traditional like turkey okay. or prime rib or whatever it is that grandma's making, the hot meal. So that's our tradition. I hope you guys have some fun food traditions as well. I thought we would share one with you if you like this recipe. I'll put the recipe in the comments and you can try making it. You do need to get a meat grinder, which we found at a garage sale somewhere. Um, but hey, it's really fun and it's one of, those, one of those traditions I passed down from my family I wanted to share with you. Have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. We're so glad that you're in our lives. Thank you for supporting local farmers because it matters. It really matters that you know where your food comes from. We love you guys and we appreciate you so very much. You guys say goodbye? Bye. Oh, Bye. and make sure to add this, this juice that's dripping in some of that into this after you're done to kind of juice it up. Although my boys will say, Drink no. it. Yeah. All right, thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Careful, careful, careful. Come on, stop peeling.